Well, good morning from the desert. It is a brand new day full of endless possibilities. Just want to do a quick little run through. I uh, fixed my favorite part of the bus, <laughs> the horn. It was leaking a little bit. Last night, in the previous video, we stained the ceiling. So we are done. <laughs> I am full committed, fully committed here. We're doing the dark light, dark countertops, light cabinets, dark floor theme in here, and I think it looks pretty good. And really, that's all that matters, because, well, it's my home. I had to lengthen the air hose out of here, because the grommet was pushing on the push to connect, creating a leak. I'm gonna chew out some of this part here, and then I have a little clip that's gonna go in and hold the air horn right there onto the wood. A pretty nice little device here. On in the back, we got Wanderboom working on the closet. Yeah, buddy. So what, uh, do you wanna give an explanation of what you're thinking? Well, just getting the, uh, the layout for what we were talking about that uh, we're gonna kinda have a, uh, we're gonna line the walls, have a platform essentially about here at 36 inches up. Um, have a wall up here so that you can have your uh, a pantry or a uh, laundry. Laundry, uh, yes, laundry uh, hamper over here mm -hmm. on the right. And then we'll have a couple of shelves in here for for your uh, longer or for your uh, different containers uh, bins to be able to store all your stuff down below. And then mm -hmm. a hanger bar up above, and mm -hmm. we can see if we might want to. Do some other shelving up above too as we uh, work out the details. Yeah, whatever fits. Yeah. So we are getting into the home stretch. Uh, yesterday I painted the top of this part here and uh, on the front it looks like we're going to do more of these uh, whitewashed cedar slats just to kind of, you know, keep this area a little bit different, a little different look from up here with the shaker. That's, you know, living room, kitchen. Back here is, you know, bedroom, bath area. Haven't yet decided what to do on the top here. Um, I could leave it. I could go white, like a whitewash. Or I could go dark, like a ceiling, like the rest of the ceiling. So I'm not really sure what to do. There's no rush. I don't have to decide right now. But uh, we are running out of jobs to do on the bus here. We also have the propane going. We got that hooked in thanks to Dean the schoolie. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to check out what Wonder Boom is up to, check out his channel on YouTube. And also, if somebody wants a custom-built van, you are willing to drive to somebody and build their van in their driveway or anywhere. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Eric and his tools, uh, able to go anywhere and do the job anywhere. Uh, vans, buses, cars, whatever you got, I'll figure out a way to make it work. And Perfect. We can uh, put yeah. you in and get you into some beautiful, comfortable space for your future. So. Awesome. And uh, I have a feeling a lot of you guys are going to see Wonder Boom all over the internet here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disclose what that is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, everything's looking good. Just got a whole mess on our hands. Also, we got a wall sconce, and I'm not sure if I showed that already, but it matches the whole brushed, you know, metal kind of look. And uh, I got myself a Edison LED bulb. All right, so I used uh, some great stuff, which isn't exactly that great of stuff. It's actually kind of mediocre stuff. But anyways... I patted it down with a glove. This stuff is just nasty to work with, and uh, in low temperatures it won't uh, dry correctly, so that's why it looks like a mess. So, anyways, um, this will be all tidied up today, I think towards the end of the day. Let's go check in with everybody's favorite mechanic. Badge, what's going on in here? I'm putting the last cable on the solar. <laughs> Isn't that just pretty? Yeah, it Isn't is. Isn't that pretty, all that solar stuff? Yep. That's like unbelievable. Like this is a, even if the bus isn't, even if the rest of the bus is garbage, the solar's awesome. <laughs> that, That's right. Yeah. The hot water, look at that. I know, we you got, got hot, hot water. water. inside. Yep. Yeah, and I know someone's going to say, hot water. someone's going to say, I already know, oh, you know, you're going to catch your bed on fire. Uh, well, you only turn it on for a few uh, seconds. It's ventless, tankless. Ventless, tankless. And uh, we got a little heat shield there, so I'm really it's not too like, concerned. It's uh, like the Cadillac of the Cadillacs, I'd say. Yeah. 
So this and it's is getting down. Tuesday's a big day. That's right. Badge wants to have a little Tuesday's celebration a party day. on Tuesday. Tuesday's a big party day. <laughs> Magnificent Seven rides again and comes through smiling again. Also, so uh, we got these things uh, installed. You can see there is a little light at nighttime. It's kind of fun. Um, but these, <laughs> this is my solar power charging station. When I go to tiny house festivals. I'll put up the stickers of AM Solar, Lifeline, Zamp, and uh, Victron Energy is kind of some, you know, just a little thank you for them. And and uh, I should probably have a brochure of all the cool things on this bus. But this is just a fun little thing. We've actually been using it because it comes in handy. Uh, who doesn't who doesn't need a USB uh, port in their life? Let alone six with two USBs per thing. So we got twelve. Now my favorite, second favorite feature of this bus, besides the air horn, is the LED lights. Cause oh, he's not staying though, he's leaving. <laughs> Cause no, Neil doesn't come with it. No? No, Neil doesn't come with it. He's, he's got to leave. He's got stuff to do. Because we all know from Instagram, you're not a real van lifer. Until you get a psychedelic until lights. Until you got LED lights, right? You got to get the fairy lights, you got to get the strip you lights, back and you got to get all kinds of stuff. So right now, Neil is giving me a hand. With these uh, lights, let me show oh, wait, you something. Wait, wait, wait. Yes? I'm giving him a hand. Guess you which one? Give him a hand. Which <laughs> one? <laughs> which hand? So, uh, just so you know, uh, I was told by Jamie Wander Lodge um, over at the shop that you can cut this thing off and then use it as 12 volt. And sure enough, this says output 12 volt. Look at that, 12 volt. So, that's what we did. We cut it off and then spliced it into the wall sconce. But we double checked to make sure which was the hot wire. And that that's right. So we didn't burn the crap out of his system. And you know, when I say we, I mean Neil. You're not going to tell him that you burn off two sets of lights, right? Oh, okay. Psh, yeah, we can't say that. Oh, okay, sorry. We got oh, okay. to make him look like uh, like we know what we're doing here. Oh, hang on. Don't pull yet. Don't okay. Pull. I was, yeah, I was just going to move this. Came out Those are cool away. lights, though. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Need a hand? That's funny. That's <laughs> funny right there. <laughs> So anyways, all we is well inside the bus. One. Steve, what did you do this morning? The wall. Cool. The wall. Um, cut out that. Cut out that. i got to get the electric hooked up. I left a little bit of a space at the top so I can get the things in because we got a piece that's going to be covering this. Yep. So that little crack is not a problem. Yep. Same with the corners. Cool, and we made this so uh, we, it doesn't get jammed in and stuck, so I could, if it gets damaged, I can pop that off, because that's going to be a high traffic zone right there. Well, the trampoline here, to get into the bed, will save that wall. <laughs> I am working on this uh, area here. I am chopping off foam. I'm going to put up some wood here shortly and then stain it. Um, moving on, moving on. Uh, waiting a few days for uh, uh, LEDs to come in. Our LED thing didn't work, so... We're doing that. Uh, Eric is doing more of the hickory outside. I made a weird noise. Anyways, uh, Eric is working on the hickory outside. He's cutting the armrests that go around the bench, uh, the benches, both the benches. So we got, uh, looks like six pieces total. One, two, three times two is six. We got the wall left. It's going to rain at five o'clock tonight. It's about uh, 11 o'clock right now. Try to pretend that spray foam on the side of the bench is not there, but look at how awesome the top of the uh, benches are here. We have the uh, armrests for these, and uh, we got Wanderboom doing what he is best at. And uh, something's beeping. But uh, this, <laughs> this is the first look with the. Yeah, we'll First look with the uh, yeah with the, uh, the armrests. It's awesome. Kind of speechless. <laughs> this wood this wood is so beautiful. So we we chose to um, do them like this. Uh, so wood grain goes um, you know long wise. We we meant to do that because otherwise the kind of you know countertop just kind of goes into there and then picks up and yeah so. We deliberately chose to, to do it like this, in case anyone's wondering. That's just a style preference, but uh, this looks fantastic. Really, really good. We almost ran into a situation here, and I have to document this for the people who like to laugh at me, because I'll be laughing along with you. We avoided mistakes. We avoided a lot, a lot of mistakes here, because 
we're buttoning up everything, and then we forgot to run power for the uh, the fridge. It's cold out. You don't need power for your fridge. <laughs> so, excuse me, Steve. So uh, we took apart. We only had to back up a little bit, but thank God, because otherwise this thing is going to be all built out here in another day or two. But we're able to sneak through the uh, propane hole and fish Dean a bunch of wires. Man, wires work great together. <laughs> hey, at least we remembered to wire up the elevator, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we uh, we avoided disaster here. Um, yeah, so anyways, that, that's just the update. So go ahead, throw your uh, comments uh, down below. Uh, making fun of me for uh, almost almost forgetting to power the fridge. <laughs> All right, so we're done for the day. We had a sh half day kind of because it's starting to rain, but uh, this is the progress so far. I I brought my I don't know if I told you guys I, I've been sleeping outside on a cot for a week. Uh, yeah, I did the same thing at the van build party. That's kind of why I got frustrated. Part of it was because I didn't have a shower for like ten days. So and it was you know just the desert no shower no fridge no anyways all you know all that stuff but um this is the progress so far we have the you know armrest area in both sides this is the bark po pocket hickory same stuff we used over there now if anyone says why didn't you continue on with that well we chose to have the end grain go you know with the armrest um otherwise it would look like you're putting your hand on the countertop, which isn't the end of the world. It was just a, you either do it like this or you do it like that. So we chose to do it like this. Um, <coughs> we were very close to buttoning this thing up. I am so grateful to everybody who basically <laughs> insisted that I come out here because I was pretty adamant. I said, no way. If I move this bus one more time, I'm going to burn it down. I definitely don't want to burn it down because this is definitely taking shape here. This is uh, not what I expected. I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to do that. But coming out here and talking with the guys and throwing around ideas, I feel like it is turning out way better than it would have before. And uh, all this electrical stuff would it is definitely a little bit beyond my comfort level. Um, would have taken me a long time to do that. But um, the only thing left construction-wise to do is the closet. We have a little clothes, um, you know, hamper thing down here. And um, we're going to have shelves. We're going to have a clothes hanger across, just like a real official closet. And um, I am just in love with this uh, whitewashed cedar. That was Wannerboom's idea, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, in case it ever gets, you know, damaged or something, I can always pop it off, put some new stuff on because, um, you know, it is cedar. It is a little on the brittle side, and uh, it's already getting a little scuffed up there. So it will, you know, it's definitely a little on the delicate side, but um, it is just awesome. Oh, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching, um, and thank you uh, to all the patrons out there on Patreon. There are a couple more. I'll be thanking them in a, a tomorrow's video um, that I'll be filming, and uh, you know helps you know helps keep the channel alive. I used to bartend before this. It's kind of like a tip. So thank you to those people, and for everyone else who isn't, you can always like, share, knock on your friends, uh, your neighbor's door, tell them about me. Just spread the word because um, I definitely want to keep going, and and I uh, definitely need that uh, um, you know support with. Uh, you know, views and all that stuff. So thank you so much for that. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. What do you say, Badge? I think this is good. Look at this, guys. Look at this thing. Isn't this sick? Look at this. Here, I'll hold it. Like, man, oh man, oh man. It's almost all done. Oh, it's Just got to put that board back on there. Finish up the bedroom a bit. Look at that, lights. Great big bed. Solar galore. And a closet. Look at this friggin' closet. Like, holy crap. Like, that <laughs> Eric is unbelievable. Yeah. Like, Wonder Boom. He's good. And look at the counter. We got the stove all working. He's got all propane. He's got water. He's got, he, and look at this, folks. And look at this. 
He's sleeping in it tonight. Yep. I'm not sure the if I'm going to be sleeping The first night in a long time. First night in a very long time. Like a very long time. So this is yeah. what, six days into this? And he's Something sleeping like in it already. Yeah. Well, I came on the 27th out here. I arrived the 27th at nighttime. So the yeah. 28th we start working on it. It's so, just uh, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Yeah. A lot of, like a lot of good work has happened. The Magnificent Seven, I tell you, you can't get <laughs> over that. Like, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. He's got to finish up this wood here a little bit. And this is all cut. It just has to be finished. And look at this. Look at this wood. Isn't that nice? Yep. That's, huh? that's the same wood. It'll look the same. Oh, God. That's going to look nice when it's all done. And no, over here is all I done. I know. I know. And all there's going to be is maybe 10, 15 hours of little stuff that he can pick away at. Yeah. yeah. Like this thing is, like, for what I got myself into and what we did is unbelievable. Yeah. Like this is, I was talking about this at Christmas and look at this thing. Yeah. Like this thing is unbelievable. Like if you ever get around to get the chance to come and see this thing, you have to see it in person. Because this, the, and the floor, we'll probably put the floor in here in the next day or two. Yeah, yeah. lots of floors in it. Very good. Very nice. Very nice, Jax. Well, Very nice. Thanks. Well, for a guy. Very nice. For a guy with limited experience and uh, a vision, yeah. you know, That's we got it done. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, looks awesome. What do you guys think? This thing is almost done, but you guys are getting the idea for what it will look like. We got the dark, light, dark, light, dark thing going on. So this is, um, I don't even know what they call it. This thing looks like a, like a yacht, Badge. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like Should we get Eric, a sail? Eric, the... Wonder Boom, like this guy is phenomenal with wood. Yeah. Like I tell you, like this, like if you go over to Wonder Boom and look at his his motor or his bus he did, it's just it's unbelievable. It's yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, it is. And like he brought that over here, and he's done the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah. We got a new uh, idea for that over there yeah, too. So. Gonna, so. <laughs> board's gonna come across here. Yep. LED lights on top. Be two more roof boards going here. So it'll yep. blend right in, same over here, yep. same thing here. Yep, so. Yeah, no. Yep. We got his sex lights in there, so they're all good. <laughs> we got another row coming. Yeah. And by sex lights, he means the yeah, LEDs. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that, Jax. <laughs> yeah, no, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, we can change all these different yeah. colors, so. Yep, it's going to no, be fun. This has come a long way. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks to you guys, yeah. and thanks for uh, not Get taking no. Get you back on the road. Thanks for not taking no for an answer when you well, called I me up. Take no for an answer, but we got to get you back on the road doing videos of what you do. <laughs> You're building a bus, isn't one of them. <laughs>